Okay, I'm back. Camera shut off again. I think I left off on my pumpkin chopper. Orange sure touch orange liner. A stainless steel, AEBL stainless steel. It's flat on this side. Beveled on this side. Scandy grind. Bam Bam. Call this Bam Bam. This is tool steel. 01 tool steel. Um, hand forged, textured with a ball peen hammer. It's got the thumb ramp. This is sharp edge here for the strike in the ferrule rod. Gray and black sure touch. I welded on a steel on the pommel for smashing. This this is a uh, for getting after it. <laughs> it's got your um, <clears throat> Victorinox steel sharpener, and it's got your fat wood ferrocerium rod. Okay, here's a camp knife. Nice camp knife. AEBL stainless steel, black and gray shirt touch, blue liner, thumb ramp, and a camp knife, belt knife. Um, I can't remember the name of the company that makes this. Ty, Ty, Tyrex? I can't remember. <laughs> It's a cool design though. I think they make these too. Um, but anyway, this is a nice black knife. I need to polish this out. I didn't notice it was that funky. But it's um, orange and black sure touch with a lime green liner and green pins. I welded on, TIG welded. 1095 high carbon steel so you can strike a rock or whatever and but it is stainless it's got your big thumb ramp right there for your thumb for carbon pretty decent knife right there oh and the liner I mean, um, I insert felt, green felt, so you don't scratch the blade up. Always wipe the blade before you put it back in the sheath. Another belt knife, give the uh, steel sharpener, ferro rod. This is pine fatwood. You could carve off some of that to make your fire. Just a nice thin belt knife. Nice. It's got a Scandi grind. It's got that hook. Orange and black sure touch with blue pins, blue and orange pins. It's got that little bird hey, for chopping. Alright. Here's a nice one. This is also. Um, cool pattern camo design this knife AEBL stainless it's got that tooth scanty grind hook got a finger choil it's got red liner looks like a hibaki on a sword kind of um, blue and black sure touched white pins red liner Kind of looks like a bird, don't it? It's a road runner. Amy, TIG welded on a 1095 high carbon steel. That's for you, Cody Lundin. <laughs> All right, that's that's a good one. I like that. Oh, and the, this one didn't get felt put in. I was trying to get that done. Another belt knife. Nice little kit right there. Pull this thing out. It's 
to it's a Bangalore. Green and black, sure touch, orange pins, gray liner. Now this one's flat on the right side, beveled on the left side. A lot of Japanese kitchen knives are um, beveled or flat on one side. I, I'm sorry, I gotta go fast because my darn camera keeps shutting up. And this is a, just me practicing some grinds. The hook up there. This is African black wood. I call this um, zombie. Zombie grind. <coughs> Excuse me. More coffee is needed. All right, here's a scoop I use for carving. It's just a little tool I made. I have more, but I'm, I didn't bring them all out. Here's a piece of fat wood that I, I eventually make a handle for a um, ferrocerium rod, just like I did this one. Okay, this is a uh, tonto that I made. By the way, Tonto is the knife. Kashira is the tip. So when they say Tonto tip, it's, Tonto is the knife. It's Tonto Wakazashi Katana. But this is um, the uh, Kashira is the pommel. This is the Kasaki, I'm sorry. Kasaki. And I like the long tip Kasaki. I think it's cool. I actually wrapped this in paper towel, so that's what how it got that design on there. The wood is curly back, fiddle back maple. That's some pretty stuff, isn't it? Okay, last but not least, my machete, AEBL stainless. I had this professionally heat treated along with a few other knives, I think three or four, that I haven't finished. And um, it was like 140 bucks just to have it heat treated. So uh, <laughs> I've used this. It, it works great. And that handle, man, you can't beat that handle. I left the green liner showing. I think it looks cool. I was wiping this thing off and sliced the tip of my thumb off. Just like a half a tic tac. It, it's all about healed up now, I know. But I, I get it. So that's it. And if you have any questions or comments or would like to order a knife, just tell me what you want and I'll make it for you. Thank you. Peace out.